Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how we are going to change the HDFS service related configuration files or configuration properties. So let's start today's session. So make sure you have already logged in to the Ambari console. Once you logged in, you will see the dashboard with the what are the services you have and along with the matrices such as disk usage matrix, memory usage matrix, network usage matrix and the CPU usage and other relevant matrices. But in today's session, we will concentrate on how to update or how to change the HDFS service configuration. So in order to do that, either you can go to the services and select the HDFS or you can directly select this HDFS. So let's go to the normal way. I'll select, I'll go over the services and select the HDFS. So HDFS is a service. Inside this service, we have seen the various sections in the last session, but in today's session, we'll concentrate on the config section. Select that and then you will see a various settings available. There are two major tabs. First is settings tab at the bottom you can see and then you can see the advanced tab. Even at the top you can see this is the current version of the setting that is V1 which was done like the last month or uh, nine month back. We can go below and we can see there are name node related properties and data node related properties. So what is name node java hip size? What is ja data node fill disk tolerance? Then we have the name node server threads, minimum replicated blocks, percentage. Are the data node related properties? We have the data node fill disk tolerance, data node maximum java heap size, and data node max transfer threads. So you can change these values by just dragging this. You can see the values are getting changed. I'll keep the default value as it is. Now the next thing is you can uh, the next thing is which is available inside the advanced setting so let's go and see what are the properties available inside the advanced setting just select advanced you can see the name node currently you can see the name node host is node 1 and other relevant properties let's change one of the properties inside the advanced HDF HDFS site section so you can expand or you can narrow down these various sections by default some of the sections are get automatically expanded whenever you log in or whenever you try to access the HDFS section we'll, today we will try to update the HDFS site related properties if you remember in my recent session we saw the various configuration file and one of that is hdfs site.xml so whenever you make any changes in this section the hdfs site.xml file get updated now if you see uh, there are various properties available with some values so out of this value we will try to change the hdfs replication max so which is quite below location so there are so many property associated with this uh, property file uh, properties and inside this we have the hdfs replication those all are the name node related and we have replication max currently it is 50 i will make as a 40 once you make these two button discard and save get enabled one more interesting fact so you can see at the right hand side the recommendation value is available so if you don't know any value or when you whenever you do the first time configuration if you don't know you can just use this button to set the recommendation value for example add this set recommendation if i click this you can get the by default value that is 50 but I will make it 40 as a change 
and I will save this once you save this one pop-up will come and it will ask us what is the reason why you are saving this file so you can mention in any particular reason for which you are making this change I will mention change max replication allows allow. so that's it and I will make as a save once you click the save button let's see what happened the next pop-up will come which says the property is saved successfully along with that change there is one more interesting fact you can see the four components on the one host require server restart and there is a restart button came up once the restart button is came up you can you can you will see the drop down box restart all affected and restart data nodes so what we can do uh, add this notification to restart HDFS or we can say the map reduce or the yarn click restart and select restart all affected so that is the more appropriate solution so once we do that you will get the one option this will trigger alert as a service is restarted to suppress alert turn maintenance mode for HDFS prior to running restart all for this we will just confirm and restart all and it's saying these many services will be affected in the current status you can see the restart all component with state config for HDFS is running on currently it is 9 percent and as we move forward means when the process goes forward the percentage will change and you can see the increase increase option at the below you can see what are the services are running and also you will see if you do not want to show this dialog when you do the next time the same thing so I will make this I will allow this uh, option to be pop up so that I have the more option or more alert kind of thing before making any change we can we can make these changes in any, uh, any environment such as development environment QA or the production environment as per the need mostly this pop up helps if you do the changes in the higher environment after that what we are going to do we are going to do most of the important thing that is nothing but the comparison of version if you remember before going to make any changes in this configuration we saw there was a version 1 was available so let's see what will happen to that version so we are just waiting now currently it is 61% so let me give you some more idea about this versioning so Hadoop or specifically Ambari maintains the all the versions of your configuration with its timestamp detail so the corresponding data is stored in appropriate storage location and it will maintain um, what are the configuration you made between the two or between subsequent uh, changes suppose you have the v1 v2 and v3 and if you want to compare v1 with v2 or v1 with v3 you can do that that feasibility is there in this Ambari tool if you want to revert or if you want to make the current um, current uh, configuration as a standard then you can make that as well so you can see the all these services up I will click OK once you click OK I can see now the two versions now you can see the v1 and v2 if you hold hover on on like suppose I want to make the v1 as my current then you can go over there and select mark as a current so all the configuration which are mentioned in the v1 version will become as a current version if you want to compare suppose I want to compare 2 with suppose so I cannot compare 2 because that is latest if you have the previous version I can compare and there is one compare button enable in the compare button you can see the what are the properties here chain and the the only difference is DFS replication max so this was your new property and 50 was the old version you can see the v1 and v2 and this is the current along with that suppose if you check if you want to view the properties file you can just click and you can view those properties file 
but these are not current properties the current properties are the v2 mm. so these are the things uh, by which actually you are able to see the various or you can able to change the configurations of the hdfs service we have just changed the one property file and we saw the how the properties file get reflected or change along with that there is next thing so whenever you make any changes you can download the all the configuration file there is option download client configs click on that here you will get the two option whether you want to open your save i will select as the save file and let's see whether it gets saved so when you click save button i can go and select to the console let me go to the let me exit and we can go to the cd root cd uh, okay let me go to the root downloads and i will do ls minus ltr now i can see i have just downloaded at 935 that is hdfs client config so this property file can uh, these are the nothing but what are the files which are available or whatever we have just changed in this configuration file so you will have the, all the configuration file associated with the hdfs i hope this session will help you to understand how to change the configuration file how to check the versions how to compare the version and also it will help you to download and see those configuration files thank you for watching my video you can subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the hadoop thank you and have a nice time